Well, back here in Hawaii, seven agonizing years after the deadly Koloko Dam tragedy on Kauai, the victims' families are one step closer to justice. The dam breach swept seven people to their deaths. Now a date has been set for the manslaughter trial against the man who owns the land where it happened. KITV4's Lara Yamada traveled to Kauai, where James Fluger appeared in court today. As it looks right now, it looks pretty lush, pristine, really green out here. It's beautiful out here in the valley. But seven years ago, it looked completely different when the Coloco Dam broke on uh, Jimmy Fluger's property just up the road here. It was just a wave of mud and rocks and trees that wiped out everything. Today, the victims and the families say they feel the wheels of justice have begun. Just peeled it, peeled the landscape. Roberto Villarreal remembers as if it was yesterday, as does John Conley, the residents of Wailapa Road, and the witnesses to the deadly Coloco Dam tragedy seven years ago. Some people will never recover from that. It's a horrible thing, you know, and they never even found some of those bodies. And it was just tragic. Stephen from Hawaii versus James Fulger. Uh, just so that we can make sure that the case doesn't keep getting continued, you know, we want to resolve this matter one way or another. In court today, prosecutors say this was supposed to be a plea hearing. Attorneys familiar with the case say Jimmy Fluger had agreed to plead guilty to one felony count of reckless endangerment. Seven counts of manslaughter would have fallen on his company, but changed his mind after being acquitted on federal tax evasion charges. Kind of um, affected the acquittal in federal court have on this case today. Well, I think uh, uh, they were similar in many respects. Uh, number one, Mr. Fluger maintained his innocence in both. In the courtroom, Bruce Faring, his family suffering the most that day. He lost his daughter, his son-in-law, his grandson, and four other friends. Today, he was happy to hear the manslaughter trial date had been set. Hopefully, uh, justice will be done in this matter. And we are sorry that the wheels of justice have moved as slowly as they have, but we're happy that it appears that uh, we're moving forward at this point in time. It's been very frustrating. But our clients have been very patient, and they do believe in the justice system. And, uh, you know, we will have our day in court. Every time I drive by there, I think about it. For friends Connolly and Koa Kalihi, there is regrowth, even though they know what lies here now covers the pain. Whatever happens next, they just hope it will end with a justice they can live with. And I'm glad to see it going to trial. I think the fact that seven people lost their lives is horrible. And all because of somebody not following the rules. How do you make up for the fact that lives were lost? That's the tragedy of it all. Now, you might remember on March 20th, uh, Jimmy Fluger was acquitted of federal tax evasion charges. Attorneys for the victims believe uh, that is why he ultimately dropped the plea deal, because he was emboldened by that, and now he's going to go for the manslaughter trial. Now, there is still a window of opportunity for Fluger to accept the plea deal after all. But uh, victims and the families right now, they are just looking forward to some sort of justice sometime soon. That trial coming up on March 16th. On Kauai, Ilari Amada, KITV4 News.